this is going to be a short segment about why Congress, Senate, the president, why they're not practicing, even the governor, why they're not practicing the recommendations to keep separation. And they're doing these press conferences full of people putting everyone at risk when they can use tools like, like Zoom and, and still have the communication, but not have the, the personal interaction. I mean, the Senate's likely going to all have this thing soon. And because they have to vote in person, that's going to be a real problem if they can't get something passed and they're all sick. Yeah, they, you know, they, 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 they broached that yesterday during one of the news conferences and Trump was saying that, uh, it, he would like to see them be able to operate remotely, but he was saying that it might be a constitutional issue where that may preclude them. They may actually have to show up. Well, uh, maybe they could debate everything on a tool like yeah, Zoom or, or WebEx and then come in to cast their vote one at a time in isolation so that they're not around each other. Yeah, I think, I think that's... Um, they're, they're sh they should be investigating a lot of different options. But, you know, why why is the not... president standing next to uh, his advisors, you know, within a foot of them? Uh, you know, the vice president, the president, they're all standing next to each other. They should be wow. the need to have everyone crammed into the White House briefing room. They could be using technology and spacing out so that people aren't on top. Yeah, of I mean, them. even if you notice the, the media on TV, uh, when you're watching the news and whatnot, like yeah, so, they have one they, blank seat, but that's that's not six feet away. No, but I'm saying the media on TV has got the separation. Like this morning, I'm watching W, uh, well, NBC on morning news, and they've got them sitting. You know, it's just a wider angle for the camera, um, yeah. and it wouldn't be that difficult because I've noticed the same thing in every press briefing I see by whether it's the president or the governors or any of them, there is a kind of a, a cluster of people around them, um, which is typical of the way it used to be. And it's not, you know, advisable now. Yeah. Well, it's certainly something that should be looked at. I, I think it's important that we do everything we can to keep the infection rate from spiking quickly. Yeah. Uh, we know in Italy, when um, it spiked the way it was, the death rate goes up to 10%. Yeah, Italy is, uh, it, it's, it's scary because everything they have done, they unfortunately got, um, got into it a bit late because they kept their borders open way too long. Uh, and they allowed things to kind of transpire that now puts them into, you know, the situation being number two as far as fatalities and, and uh, as far as the case rate, once they started and they've, they've shut down the entire country, now they're actually shutting down uh, the transportation systems within the country to try to contain this. It's something else. And then with spring break, uh, all the students coming back from Florida, California, they're all at the beaches. This is going to transfer and they're going to be bringing their family members special gift home. Yeah, it's uh, I, it scares me about the fact that we allowed the spring break festivities to go on the way they did, that the governors weren't a little bit more proactive in that regard, and that the people themselves, uh, granted, you're young, you, you feel like you're invincible, but the reality is you're not. And the once in a lifetime spring break is not all that great as it is. Know, having not gone to any spring breaks when I was in school, other than the trip to, you know, out west and whatnot. But uh, the value of it is far offset by the jeopardy you put yourself in from a health uh, standpoint. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks for coming on the show again to talk about this. It's great. Enjoyed it. Well, I'm sure we'll see each other again virtually. Yeah. <laughs>